When holding the stab knife, think of it like holding a pen. Use your thumb to apply downward pressure. The stab knife can be held in two positions, the inward position and the outward position. With the handle held perpendicular to the workpiece, apply downward pressure. The size of the indentation which is made varies entirely on the force exerted downward by the stab knife. In order to create larger indentations, the rocking motion can be introduced. This simply involves pivoting the knife towards yourself or away from yourself to increase the length of the stab. All of these indentations have been made using the inward position. Similarly, they can be made using the outward position. As we can see, the stab knife can be used to make small decorative features such as stars and crosses. The size of the feature can be altered by introducing the pivoting motion as shown earlier. The stab knife doesn't remove any material, it simply makes small wedge shaped indentations. With the handle held perpendicular to the workpiece, apply downward pressure 